Well, it's Mr. Palmer, second video for a Friday night. Really, really short one, just about debugging tools that are available uh, when writing code. Okay, so basically what, what is there that is, um, you know, present to help a, a developer. So quickly, just remember that you can write code in an editor. An editor could be as simple as Notepad, okay, slightly more complicated editor here, Notepad++, looking at some code that one of my students has written. Terrible code, terrible, terrible code. All right. Um, or it could be more complex like an IDE okay so in an IDE if you think about it okay you've got uh, several tools that are available to you uh, you've got translated diagnostics uh, breakpoints and stepping and variable checks so um, if you just reflect upon your programming experience and what tools have you actually made use of out of that list that I've just shown you in the IDE that you use whatever language it is that you've been um, coding in all right so uh, to begin with all right uh, translated diagnostics could be simple things like warning you right, basically when variables are unused, warning you when you use keywords with ver ver reserve words, um, just warning you when you have syntax errors, etc. Here's two screenshots from NetBeans. Um, there uh, on the left hand side, there's a little light bulb on that line warning me that uh, variable Y might not have been initialized. So, to prevent um, any uh, kind of runtime errors there, okay. And uh, here is a warning for me, variable X is not used, uh, that basically um, not wasting uh, storage, valuable storage basically, uh, when my program is compiled. Okay, so um, there's two examples of translated diagnostics. They can also be developed, they, you know, there are more things available in terms of debugging tools. So you basically got breakpoints and stepping, and you can use variable checks. So here's an example in action, all right. Here I've got a really simple program, I've got X and Y, I'm comparing X and Y to see which one's greater or smaller, uh, so which one is smaller, and then um, I uh, set the value of Z, okay, I initialize Z. So um, here I've added a breakpoint to my code, so when I'm running it, I've actually run it in, in debugging mode, and it's basically stopped the execution of my program at that line, okay. Down here on the left hand side, you can see it's actually showing me uh, the variables. So at the moment, I only have X um, been uh, declared and initialized. You can see it has a value of five. When I step into the next line, you can see that um, I now have more variables. I now have Y is equal to six. And the green bar indicates what line I'm currently on. That condition has been satisfied. Therefore, I step inside that if statement. Uh, and I now have about to initialize uh, Z. And you can see when you look in the variable watch panel at the bottom that I now have X, Y, and Z, and it's showing me their corresponding values. Okay, so this is quite useful as a debugging tool, again, um, because it can actually let you compare your actual values to the expected values as you're stepping through your code and try and actually isolate your errors. Okay, and that's basically it. What debugging tools are available? You've got translated diagnostics, and you've got breakpoints and stepping and variable watches to help you develop error-free code. Thank you very much. Watch out for the next one.